loves welcome back to my channel I'm sorry if today's angle is a little bit weird but I have like my tripod and my ring light pushed all the way up as close as I can get to my dresser because my back is killing me today so I'm like leaning against my dresser and I might look a little bit awkward in today's video just a side note anyway today's video is going to be about adult acne myths busted so these are things that people tend to believe are true pursuing to or pursuing or pursuant one of those things due to adult acne that basically are not true at all so we are going to bust these myths right now we're going to get to it so the first myth is that diet has nothing to do with acne and as much as we would all including me love to believe this it's actually a myth. So there was a study that was done with 200 people that found that people who ate high fatty foods, sugary foods, dairy, and no fish were more likely to get moderate to severe acne. So if you are one of those people, if that is you, and you are breaking out with bad acne, what you might wanna do is to eliminate the sugar, eliminate the dairy, eliminate the fat, and eat more fish. And I know, I hate fish. Like I just, I can't stomach it at all, but hey, Beauty is pain. If we want clear skin, do what you gotta do. Number two, if you suffer from acne, stay away from chocolate. No, not true at all. So the cocoa in chocolate is not the problem at all. It's actually the dairy and the sugar that's added into the chocolate that is making you break out. And this is solvable. This is okay. I know there's a lot of chocolate lovers out there and there is a way around this. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is stick to chocolate that has 70% or more cacao in it. Also is dairy free and sugar free and you're good. No reason to stress, have all the chocolate you like. Number three is one that I, it, it kind of hits home for me. It kind of definitely gets me a little bit upset. And I have some stats on this one that I want to read for you. And that is going to be that men get acne just as common, just as much as women do. And no, that's false. And no, that's false. So come here and listen to this. Okay, so the American Academy of Dermatology found that 50%, that's a lot, 50% of women 20 to 29 have acne, 35% between 30 to 40 have acne, and 26% of women 40 plus have acne. Statistically, women deal with acne more than men. And you can thank your female hormones for that. It ain't right. It ain't right. So number four is one that I thought was true for the longest time, and that is sunscreen all sunscreen causes breakouts. Now this is not true, and I wanna give you guys kind of like a little bit of a sunscreen 101. There's basically two different types of sunscreen out there. There is physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. Now chemical sunscreen actually protects your skin by absorbing UV lights, but for a lot of people, did I say absorbing? Yes, I did. I meant to say absorbing UV lights, but for a lot of people, chemical sunscreen can lead to irritation and for more problems than they even started out with. You definitely don't want more inflammation and breakouts from using a sunscreen, but there is another option out there, and that's by using a physical sunscreen. Now, unlike with a chemical sunscreen that absorbs the UV lights, a physical sunscreen works by reflecting UV lights, and it's a lot more gentle on your skin. On top of that, physical sunscreens normally have zinc oxide in them, which is great for killing acne-causing bacteria, so definitely you want to stick with a physical sunscreen, not a chemical sunscreen, and it's very easy to find out which one you're using. Just check the label on the back. It looks the same as a sunscreen. I know by me saying physical sunscreen, you might think that it's like not a liquid or it doesn't look like your average everyday sunscreen, but it's still a white liquid, like much, okay, that's what she said. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that it looks exactly the same as a regular chemical sunscreen. Just check that label. And last but not least, number five is one myth that my grandmother is going to kill me for busting because it's just not true. And a lot of you guys have recommended this to me as well. It's not true, you guys. Toothpaste can heal a zit. Now, here's the thing with toothpaste. A lot of them contain baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, essential oils, menthol, peppermint, alcohol, which, yes, can definitely dry a pimple out. But here's the thing. It's not made for your skin. It's made for your teeth, for your mouth, for your gums. It's not made for skin, so it can very easily irritate it. Many times using toothpaste on your skin can end up leading to irritation and rashes, which is essentially just trading in 
one problem for another. Instead, you wanna stick to products that are specifically made for the face, which are most likely, as far as acne, benzoyl peroxide, or salicylic acid. Benzoyl peroxide is my personal favorite. It's the one that I've used as a spot treatment for years, and it works by blasting acne-causing bacteria. Or if you're more of a salicylic acid person, that basically works by unclogging the pores, which also can cause acne. So you wanna see which reacts better with your skin condition and your skin type, and definitely just Stay away from the toothpaste, just, just put it down. All right guys, and that is all the tips that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to come out with a part two, definitely let me know. A lot of you guys know that I am like the acne girl. I went on Accutane. I have so many skincare videos, so many Accutane videos. I will try to post as many of them down below that I find helpful. And definitely follow me on my vlog channel because I show you guys everything on that channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.